Thanks for 100,000 subscribers. Hi friends, it's Lulu Sketches. I'm back today with another art advice video. Guys, most of you are super cool, hardworking, driven ass artists who will find success in art because it is your passion. This video is not for you. This is a video for artists who say they want to improve at art, but make excuses for why they can't. And often they leave comments complaining about their dilemmas on other artists' social media. This is gonna be some tough love today because I want you guys to succeed. You might not even realize that you're making excuses and that maybe you're being a little lazy or negligent in your art journey. So here's a list of excuses that I hear artists make. Number one, I'm not naturally gifted. Guys, art is a learned skill. The only way you're going to improve is through hard work and practice. Anyone saying otherwise is lying. Don't make comments to your favorite artist about how lucky they are to have this natural ability to draw. Those kind of comments belittle the amount of work that that artist put into their craft. What experienced artists have over less experienced artists is hours and hours and hours of practice. And they've drawn for so many hours because they love drawing. This might seem obvious, but the people that get really good at drawing are the ones that love it. And that causes them to do it a lot and then they get better at it. Nobody is born with an innate ability to draw well. I was obsessed with drawing as soon as I could hold a pencil, and my drawings were just as shitty as the other preschoolers' drawings. The difference between me and them was that I kept drawing for years and years because I loved it, and that's how I improved. Number two, I don't have the right tools. <sighs> The tools don't make good art, the artist does. If you hand Jin Kim a broken crayon, he's going to be able to make amazing art with it because he's an amazing artist. It's not about the tools he uses. My tools for many, many years were printer paper and mechanical pencils. And that is still my favorite thing to draw with traditionally. If you wanna be a digital artist but you can't afford a tablet, that's okay. I couldn't either. So I used to draw with a mouse, which was right-handed even though I'm left-handed. And I know this sounds like your parents telling you that back in my day, I used to walk to school in the snow, uphill, both ways. But I really did used to use a mouse to make digital art. I used free websites for drawing, like Okaki Central. I used my family's really old Windows computer, or I would draw at school or the library. I just knew I wanted to make digital art, so I found a way. Now on to tablets. If you can't afford it, there are small tablets that cost less than $100. My first tablet was a small Wacom Intuos 3, which I used for well over 10 years. I just used it the other day. It still works great, and I still love it. I think that cost $70. It wasn't like a pro or a touch. It was just a plain old Intuos. You can also get small Wacom tablets like mine on eBay. Lightly used for less than $40. Even $40 is a fair amount of money though, so if you can't afford that, maybe just work on your traditional art for now. Speaking of digital art, I need to mention Cintiq. Cintiq are a type of tablet where you draw directly onto a screen. For some reason, a lot of artists think that they can only draw well digitally if they have a Cintiq. And because Cintiq are so expensive, only the artists that can afford them can draw well digitally. This is a terrible excuse. Cintiqs don't make you draw better. The first time I used a Cintiq or even saw one was my first day on the job at a big animation studio. Drawing well on a Cintiq is a whole new skill on its own and at first I really preferred my little tablet. So stop using I don't have a Cintiq as an excuse because neither do most artists. Number three, there's no art classes available to me. You don't need classes to draw. All it does is give you structure and deadlines that force you to practice. If you want to improve more quickly on your own, give yourself assignments and deadlines and put in the work. If you're worried about improving at anatomy without figure drawing classes, just go outside, go to a cafe and draw from life. It's free. Number four, I didn't go to art school. Neither did I. Try again. Number five, I don't have any followers and nobody likes and comments on my art. Listen to me. You are a strong, independent artiste. You create something out of nothing. That's amazing. So don't let something like numbers get you down. And don't use it as an excuse to not draw. You know those big artists you follow on social media who are your heroes? They started with no followers. I have followers online now, but that took a long time and that was never my goal. Numbers are so stupid. Social media can open doors for you in the future, like job opportunities, but only if you have the skills to back it up. Having followers on social media does not make you a better artist. Not all artists with a high follower count are highly skilled. So focus on improving your artwork, not your follower count. Number six, 
I don't have enough time. This is specifically for the artists who are leaving comments saying they don't have enough time to draw. For you negative Nancys, I see you have time to scroll through Instagram. Ask yourself, are you making art a priority? Try replacing I don't have enough time with art is not a priority for me right now. Maybe try making a list of things that are important to you and figure out where art falls on that list. Even for people with no time, if you're passionate about art, you find creative ways to fit it into your schedule. At Disney, for example, we work a lot of hours. Some artists struggle to find time to make personal art in their few hours outside of work when they also want to do things like eating, sleeping, exercising, exercising, taking care of their kids, and spending time with their spouses. What I've noticed is a lot of these really busy artists will bring their sketchbooks and pencils and watercolors to lunch, and then they'll do some life drawing on their lunch break. Not as a chore, but because they love it. Number seven, I started too late. I'm too old. Age is just a number. Stop limiting yourself based on a number. Also, try Googling when Van Gogh started painting, and then get back to me. Number eight, I'm waiting for creativity to strike. If you're waiting for some major spark of inspiration every time you draw, just forget it. Story time, I did an artist residency once. It was for serious professional artists. We had an assignment given to us in class and we could leave and draw for a few hours and then come back and turn it in. One of the professional artists in class turned in nothing because she said that she's only inspired at night. I think my eyes rolled back in my head. You think professional artists feel creative and inspired 40 hours a week? No, we don't. But we do our assignments because it's our job. If you want to improve, don't wait for some spark of inspiration. Just start drawing because you love it, get into the flow of it, and take breaks when needed. Number nine, my final excuse on the list. Lulu Sketches hasn't made a tutorial for this and thus I cannot do it. I'm not even kidding about this one. I get comments like this and demands that I make certain tutorials. If you make this excuse, you've got to stop relying on other people. A drawing tutorial not existing for something you want to draw is not an excuse for you not drawing it. You have to do the work yourself. In conclusion, if you are truly passionate about art, then you will draw a lot and you will improve. You don't need to make excuses. Just draw if it makes you happy. I hope this video wasn't too harsh and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, most of you are awesome and hardworking artists, but maybe there's a few of you out there who this video could help. If you guys think of any other excuses that artists make, please comment them down below. I find them very entertaining. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye! The only way you're going to improve is hard work. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep that there. <laughs>